There it is. Hey, everyone. How good. Middle of the night. Good morning. It's about 1.30 uh, Friday morning. And I am winding down for bed. Um, drinking a few sips of kumbacha. Um, and as I said in my introduction video, I would do couch talks, um, which is really just when I'm winding down, um, and like reflecting, right? Um, oftentimes I'm in the middle of a Columbo or Murder, She Wrote episode and I'm reflecting. But today or tonight, um, <clears throat> I am reflecting in silence. Uh, a, a type of no distraction type of thing. So I was like, okay, in my PJs, I'm ready to go to bed, but I'm not really ready to go to bed. So as I sat on the sofa, I just started reflecting on the day on Thursday. Um, you know, have we enjoyed the dinner, although it was an hour late and, um, it's cold outside. It's cold in Michigan right now. Um, so there wasn't really any outside time except to maybe go check the mail or something like that. And then um, YouTube. <laughs> and so I was replaying my, my live from Thursday evening. And I'm not a pet myself on the back individual, but I am somebody who promotes being proud of yourself. And so during my reflection, I just, I said, Blue, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. It's okay to be proud of yourself. You know, it's one thing to be prideful but to be proud of something you felt you did, right? And it doesn't matter if anyone liked it or not, just being happy with yourself. Oh, it's almost like a turn on for yourself, you know? But one of the things that I was reflecting on is blue, how did you get here? So I started thinking about last year and recalling how I was, you know, on YouTube and YouTube was um, based on what I was doing on my channel and or based on what I was watching. Um, other, you know, motivational, positive content or, um, you know, mukbangs or whatever. And I was remembering how um, YouTube brought me to this particular channel. And after watching several videos, which is what I encourage others to do before you subscribe to a channel, watch a few videos. And after doing that, I felt compelled to subscribe. <clears throat> and then I was giving kindness and receiving kindness and it made me feel good right to be receiving this this thing from people on social media let me stick a pin in it right there 
if you are feeling something from someone else, if, if what someone else does makes you feel a certain way, for me, I've learned to question it. Because what I feel like I was getting from people on YouTube, I should have been getting from myself first, right? So then I started thinking about how loyal I thought I was and, you know, uh, connecting with people, you know, two or three different people. Um, and I started thinking about loyalty and, and, you know, my feeling like I was becoming a part of something, you know, you're a part of your household, you're a part of your family, you're a part of, uh, the, you know, your job, your, you know, when I say your job, like you have people at your job that you're kind of close to and you go out to lunch with them. And, you know, you have these connections in the real world. You have connections with people at church or wherever it is that you, that you worship or, you know, your spiritual life. You have those connections, but the connection on YouTube is different. This is all in my opinion, and this is all my story. So I was thinking about that, the loyalty and the feeling a part of and how easy it is to, to feel that way, how easy it is to get involved, especially when people um, are very articulate and they can say all the right things. And sometimes you don't even know that you're lacking that particular thing until you're in it. So I was thinking about how, how quickly I got connected and, you know, down to the point where I'm emailing, you know, you need to deal with so-and-so because so-and-so said, and I look back now and I'm like, Blue, that was nobody's fault but your own. You know, it's often so easy to blame other people. Mm -hmm. It's easy to say, yeah, I did that. But if she hadn't, ha if she hadn't of, or yeah, I did that. But if he didn't do it, or yeah, I did that. But they, but at the end of the day, or in the middle of the night, something should hit you that it's, it's you. It's not the other people or the other person. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> I was thinking about how, you know, I, I, I used to enjoy certain people. And then, you know, I got into this click, you know, of YouTube. And I started, you know, so-and-so said this and so-and-so said that hey, you need to get them and you need to do something to shut them up because they said, they said, they said. And I say, Blue, what do you think you were doing? And then the switch came and Blue woke up. Blue saw the light. Blue, what is your point? I ended today's, I ended today with the reflection of regret. I wish I had never followed YouTube's suggestion. So now it's YouTube's fault. Mm -hmm. But it's not YouTube's fault. Because just like you can click on, <laughs> you can click off. And I didn't click off. So I was feeling like, oh, I wish I had never met this person, you know, met this person on YouTube. 
I wish I had never been to this person's channel. I wish I had never felt like there was a connection. I wish I had never said, oh, thank you so much. Oh, you're so beautiful. Oh, you're so classy. Oh, you're so all these things. I wish I hadn't done that. I wish I hadn't got involved. I wish I hadn't, you know, been sharing what I blindly thought was, you know, personal connection. And then I said, don't regret it. Because sometimes it's the things that we see as regret that are the very things that open our eyes to future knowledge. It's the things that we think we should regret that open our eyes to future knowledge. It helps us. It's like when you're younger and your parents say, don't touch the stove. And because you don't know any better, you touch it anyway. Chances are you're never going to touch the hot stove again, right? So you might regret that you burned your hand, but it taught you something, right? And so what I'm talking about in short is feeling regret and then realizing it's not regret because now I know. And as I begin to move forward from last year's ridiculousness, it, <clears throat> it helped me to be more on my toes. It helped me to pay more attention. Just like you pay attention to your surroundings in the grocery store because things are happening in grocery stores that you never would imagine would happen or you pay attention wherever you are. It taught me to pay attention to my surroundings on all of social media. And why did that happen in 2023? You should have been aware of that before, but it wasn't until I became a content creator that I started paying attention. What's your point? Here it is. Get regret out of your vocabulary. And instead of seeing it as negative, because regret is such a dark negative word in my opinion. And the word regret can cause you to question yourself in such a way that you can't bounce back. So instead of seeing seeing it as regret, I now see it, it, not just now, but I begin to see it as a lesson learned. And every time I get to the point where I find myself going back there, I remember that past incident. Who the heck was I being loyal to? Who the heck was I trying to uh, protect or, you know, trying to stand up for, or, you know, who, 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 who was I trying to be so supportive of that I lost track of myself? Excuse me, that I lost track of myself. Why were you doing that, Blue? You know, take the regret as a time to ask yourself questions. And then allow yourself to answer those questions. Learn from that. I remember somebody saying to me, you don't need me. You don't need anybody. It's already in you. And I understand. I understand. It's already in you. If you never get support, it's okay. If, if people, uh, if you feel drawn into something and you have to check yourself and back out of that thing that you were drawn into, 
It's okay. It's okay to be careful who you connect with on social media and off. It's okay. And I think to myself, gosh, I could have saved some time had I been paying attention. But thank God that I was saying that we're almost in April, over four months ago. Instead of saying it just now. See, I'm reflecting on something I've already reflected on. It just came up again as a reminder. There are people that I was saying, I wish I never knew. I wish I was never a part of what they had going on. But I'm glad I was. Because it taught me something. And what it taught me was not just about people. But it taught me about me. And it's true. What's What I need is already in me. And what you all need is already in you. I said this the other day in a short. You are your confirmation. You are your applause. You are. Yes, we listen to people as like guidance and direction. But in the end, before we even go to people, we know, we know, we know not to go there and not to do that. We don't really need anybody to tell us. See, we go to people because we're hoping that they will talk us out of doing what we know we need to do. So, a few more sips of my kumbacha and then I'm going to try to lay down. But I just want to... I don't want to move too much because I don't want my phone to move. Here. I think I have a new dimple. Anywho. So, that's it. Just wanted to have a little couch talk. Talk about my double reflecting, double reflection time on this Friday morning. And just encourage you all to be careful. Be careful. When you sense that something is off, it's probably off. And even if, even if you're watching me and you sense that something is off, it's okay. Pay attention to that feeling and go with it. Doesn't mean that, that it's true, but sometimes signs are for something entirely different than what it seems like. And at the end of the day, I am glad I know of, because I don't know anybody on YouTube, but I am glad that I know of some people because they've taught me what to look for. And it's taught me the importance of loving unapologetically, being kind intentionally, and being me authentically and it feels so darn good. See you all in the next video. Be well, happy journey.